Now for some poetry, which illustrates the power of the word, spoken or written, to another. By Emily Dickinson Immortal is an ample word. Immortal is an ample word when what we need is by but when it leaves us for a time tis a necessity of heaven above the firmest proof we fundamental know except for its marauding hand it had been heaven below Emily Dickinson around 1870 and interesting uh, she had sent a letter to a friend and in that letter about this poem she said truth is such a rarity excuse me truth is such a rare thing it is delightful to tell it And when um, she speaks of the the ample word, the immortal word, she's talking about it, having a word that is, has an endless existence, deathless, imperishable, immortality. We're investing with unfading honor. That's the power of a word, especially in, uh, to one in need. You can save the soul. It's supernatural. She's speaking in mortality. When she says uh, immortal is the ample word, she's speaking in terms beyond this physical existence into the immortality, uh, into the supernatural. She's referring to something akin to the Word of God which is immortal, endless no matter how we try to change it no matter how we try to modify it no matter how we try to add to it it the spoken Word of God is immortal and she's claiming here that we too can do this for another we can save a soul just by what we say to them you could either save them or kill them with words. And remember that words have the power to kill as well as the power to save. So be careful with your words and say a nice word to someone today. God bless you all. Big shout out to Emily Dickinson, one of the greatest poets of America. God bless us all. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost.